Chegegwa district, located in the Toro region in western Uganda, is a beautiful place with some interesting rock formations. There are many rocks scattered in the whole district, but we chose to visit Ranyege, which is one of the biggest rocks in the district. Ranyege also has an interesting history as a hiding place for both locals and soldiers during ancient conflicts in the area. Accompanied by the district tourism officers, we embarked on a 25-kilometer walk at around 9 a.m. From its foot to the top, this rock climbing is not for the faint-hearted because of its steepness. Those of us with experience in negotiating steep slopes had to employ some tactics to be able to make it to the top. The district tourism officials say the rocks have been beneficial to Jegegwa. In other places where you hear there are landslides, for us we don't expect that won't happen in Jegegwa. So we are safe in terms of security in relation to that because of nature. Then another one, we have used these rocks, we have used them in form of tourism attraction. Then it's also a source of income through stone, what we call stone quarrying locally. And there are a number of other investors that have come up to undertake that kind of activity within Chegego. The closer you get to the top of Ranyuege Rock, the more refreshing it becomes. Beneath this rock are a number of caves where people used to live in the distant past. Very interesting, guys. Here comes two beautiful nice. This one was their drum. And it was spilled eh, by some uh, boys whom we don't know. They came here, they spilled this what? This drum. And these are the remains of a what? Of a drum. Then, these, these you, you know, we had no these uh, saucepans, but they were using the clay pots. And this one is made of what? Of clay. And it was just destroyed recently. And it is believed even there was a, a, a gun, the first gun which was here, it was called Xaschim. But people used to fear it, and we don't know who came and do what. And take it was here, it was for, it was for Kahua. We were told that Kahawa, one of the strongest fighters in Toro, used to live in this cave, which is one of the biggest here. This stone, we ha there is nine bedrooms. There is nine bedrooms, and it is, it is stored. Here, the first one, you have seen it there. Then there's the second one. And the Kahua had many wives. So that's in the, in the Toro region, we believe in the polygamy. Had so many wives. And every, each, each woman had a what? Had a bedroom. With the government's tourism fund, the officials say they are going to make Chegegwa a tourism destination. You cannot reach Toro before you reach Chegegwa. Chegegwa is the, sitting, the main sitting room or welcoming gate of Toro Kingdom. So we need to focus on Chegegwa district. We need to focus on Chaka because as you enter Toro, the city, the cleanest city in the world or in, in Uganda, you have to pass through Chegegwa. This is one of, of the samples we have, but there are several more. We can move. You can give us a week or a month to finish all the sites we have in Chegegwa district. We are planning to ensure that we revive all the tourism attraction destinations within Chegegwa. Now the district has embarked on a plan to explore, record and publicize many of the little known tourism sites in Chegegwa. Agnes Nandoto, NTV, Chegegwa District.